Alright, welcome back gamers, my name is Senpai Kira, and this time we're doing Fatal Frame 3. Let's do it. Okay, so let's start off with a new game, and uh, yeah, let's do normal. She's going to be actually the uh, main character of our run, and her name is Rei Kurosawa. For those of you who haven't played Fatal Frame 3... Hey. <laughs> Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. That's Mika right there. From Fatal Frame 1. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Rei Kurosawa. She's the protagonist of this uh, Fatal Frame series. And uh, this is gonna be the prologue of the game. There's a lot of shots here that can be missable. And uh, I plan to take on all of those shots and capture them because they're gonna be really essential for collecting points earlier or early on in the game. So it's best that we don't miss any of those shots. That's not actually a difficult shot, but there's going to be a difficult shot sooner or later. Just like this one. It's actually a missable shot, and I remember on my first and second playthrough, I missed that shot so much. So, earlier in this game, there's going to be lots of missable shots. We're going to make sure we take all of those shots. Because if we're not careful, we're going to miss a lot of points. And we're going to use all of those points to upgrade our camera. 
and that's gonna give us a good leverage earlier in the game. There's no point fighting this guy because we're unable to inflict damage on him since we're using a normal camera. Okay. There's two shots here. It's gonna be one on the left and one on the right. Those uh, girl priestess. We need to make sure we get both of them because both of them stack up a thousand points. So I don't want to miss any of that. Stay here forever. I'm not sure if I got that shot there, but the points didn't register at all. And this is the boss of Fatal Frame 3. I think her name is Reika. For some reason, all of the the areas look the same. Fatal Frame 1, 2, 3, and the Fatal Frame 4, they all look the same. Although Fatal Frame 4 is somewhere in the island, on a uh, Rogetsu Island, I think. And we're going to be playing Fatal Frame 4 after this series, I guess. This place is... Okay, this is R1 sign Better check out everything in this place Could be a lot of missable stuff And items too 
So our first item there is a herbal medicine. And I, I think the viewfinder this time is a triangle button compared to a Fatal Frame 2, which we did last time. The viewfinder was, um, I think, circle. Yeah, it's circle. Okay. So no problem, we can adjust. Yep, we gotta grab all of those points. Very important. So I think we can upgrade from here on since we got the obscure camera. Okay. So I guess there's no tutorial whatsoever in using the obscure camera. Maybe the game developers assume that everybody knows how to use it. No items. No items. Okay, let's proceed. Just making sure we don't miss any shot there. People has been opening the wall. Sound seems to be coming from here. Okay, let's take a peep. got a thousand points by snapping a photo of that apparition right there. Okay. This one too. A thousand points again. Alright. No problem. I'll go away. Alright. I think we're okay with uh, a level up since we already have 11,000 points. And uh, I think we're going to upgrade on uh, I don't know. Okay, so we go on with max value for now for for our first upgrade. All right. That's Reiko over there. So I'm just using the normal film. I mean, not the normal film, just the junk film. Another thousand points. Just checking on some items here. Never know.
Up in. Okay. There's our ghost right there. Where did he go? That's creepy stuff right there. Alright, so we make sure that we change our film. We'll make sure to blast her away. Your husband, you see. I have no idea where your husband is. I think we got her good since we did some upgrade with the max value. Yeah, I think so. And we can easily switch some film too. Which is a a function from the previous fatal frame. No. Did we get it? Yes, two thousand points. There you go. at something. She also has those tattoos coming out of her face. She shouldn't have put the flashlight down. I think Reiko is able to grab on hold to her. That's why she has all of these tattoos. Yep, I think she did. Yeah, I think she did. Oh. 
everything okay? I... I heard you cry out. I was worried. You've been having so many nightmares lately. What? I'm fine. But I... I... I just... had a bad dream. Those tattoo were the exact same spot where Reika touched her, definitely. But what was it all? Uh, was it all a dream? Anyway, I just better get up. Tattooed woman. And uh, we got some uh, reading material. And uh, every time we wake up, there's a lot of new information coming up. Okay, so let's read this first part. During the course of the game, when you find new information, it will be recorded in the notebook. When there is a new entry in the notebook, the title will appear in the top right. You can access the notebook from the menu. If you press the L1 button while the item is shown in the top right, you can refer to that item. Alright. Okay, so let's read the first... Bruise appears. Okay. I felt a sharp pain in my shoulder when I woke up. For a moment I thought I could see some kind of bruise on my skin. But when I looked at it again, there was nothing there. Was it just a dream? That's weird. Locations. Abandoned house. I wasn't motivated enough to find out much about the place before I went. About all I knew was that it was supposed to be haunted. What was behind the strange daydream vision I had that house in the snow? Was I just worn out? Still scarred by the accident? Or are the rumors true? Was he really there? We don't really know, Ray. Manner of sleep. The ruined house I wandered in my dream the night I got back after my vision on that assignment. Something about it reminded me of the haunted house where I saw you. It seemed too real to be a dream. Daydreams, visions, maybe I'm just tired. Okay. Alright, so we got some people here that we want to know who. Yuasu. I think Yuasu is... Has the same um, last name as uh, Misaki Asu of uh, Fatal Frame 4. I don't know their uh, relationship. My fiancé, he was an editor who worked on books of folklore, philosophy, and anthropology. We met as students. He was the opposite of me in every way. Quiet and kind. Like gentle falling rain. Like a sop shower that washes everything clean. He passed away two months ago in an accident caused by my careless driving. Alright, now we know what's going on. Miku Hinasaki. We already knew who Ni Miku is. Ah, uh, this one I want to know. Tattooed woman. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor. Her whole body was in blue tattoo. She came closer and I ran away before I knew what was happening. All I remember is an intense fear. I can still feel her cold stabbing fingers on the back of my shoulder where she touched me. It's hard to believe it's only a dream. Mother and Daughter The mother and child who appeared in my dream in an old-fashioned kimono. They were looking for someone, calling out in sad voices to him. Who could they be? We don't really know. Alright. So it looks like this desk right here we can't save from here on. So, looks like we can't save just yet.
Lots of stuff. Good morning, Ray. Oyo gazemus. Raisin. It really has a nice place, though. Good morning, Ray. Looks like it's going to rain all day. You don't have to work so much this week, so why don't you try to relax? Ray, you've been working too much lately. You were woken up by the bad dream this morning. Not to mention what has happened when we were out collecting data the other day. Anyway, let's try to take it easy today. That reminds me. There was a letter. It's addressed to you. Letter from K. I think this is... Um... Yu's buddy. Dear you, Sorry for not writing for so long. How are things with your fiancé? I'm continuing my investigation of the urban legend. Like I thought, my niece's symptoms bear many similarities to the strange disease associated with the urban legend. I think most of the story is groundless rumors, but I heard there was a psychiatric study done. If you have it, I'd like to see it. Maybe it will provide a clue. I'm taking a break from all my other work to devote myself to studying the urban legend. I'd like your help. According to the documents I studied, that camera I sent you is apparently a rare camera obscura. Given where I found it, it may have some connection to the missing people and the urban legend. If you hear anything, please tell me. Regards, K. Amakura. Okay. Alright. So, uh... We need to check out that camera obscure upstairs. That's where all the film during our sleep is going to be, so we can develop it in the dark room downstairs. There was something about some sort of camera obscure that you own written in that letter. Could it be the same camera I saw in my dream? Well, you'll find out, Ray. Ray, may I help you with something? Oh, I just wanted to ask you. Ray sure has a big house. Okay, so there's the camera obscura. On the shelf are a letter and a camera similar to the one I saw in my dream. Looks like the letter is from K. We got letter 1 and letter 2 is right here. Okay, let's read. Dear you, during my research on the manner of sleep, urban legend, I finally made it to a certain desert village, lost even from the map. I found this camera in a huge abandoned house near that village. Ooh, could that be the village in Fatal Frame 2? We don't know. My niece Miyu and Mayu disappeared. She caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her. I saw this camera and she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of some unspeakable incident. Well, of course, they had a big incident right there. 
For now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look it over for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you. So let me know what you find then. Regards, K. M. Akura. Okay. And here's our camera obscura. And in it is the musty film that we took in the matter of sleep. There's going to be a lot of documents right here, but I'm kind of too lazy to read through all of that. So I'm just going to leave those alone. So what we're going to do right now is go to the dark room and have all of those film developed. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Yeah, we already know that. Are you alright? I'm not okay. Leave me alone. Okay. As I remember it, uh, on my first and second playthrough, uh, I think a decade ago. <laughs> Um, this place can also be haunted, uh, I think sooner or later in the game. Okay, let's develop some stuff here. And we got the musty film. Okay. Maybe if I investigate this woman, I can find out something. Uh, all right. That's why we have an assistant. We got people doing the dirty work for us. While we keep on sleeping and exploring some ghostly manner. Okay. Do your stuff. Miku, about the woman in this picture. I was wondering if I could get you to try and find out as much about her as you can. Anything is fine. Well, this is a very old picture, so I found it in Yu's room. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There was just something about her. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. That's what I want to hear. You show photos you've developed to Miku. Sometimes... You can ask her to investigate them for you. That's good. If you have them investigated, you can come talk to Miku later to get books and other information. Okay. And back to our sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping. But this time we can save. By checking camera obscura on the desk, you can save your progress. Okay. So let's save. It's gonna be our first save. Hard save, of course. Okay, there you go. 37 minutes. And. You wanna sleep? Yeah. Okay, looks like we're back in the dream world. This dream... Again. Yep. And we gotta find that woman. That we saw earlier. She'll be lurking this place. I'm sure of it. Can't afford to miss her any- uh... 
There you go. See? We could have missed that shot. sure nothing is gonna be missed here keeps on running around I think she knows we're following her it's not my fault I didn't choose to survive okay so, she's the one who wrote this. We shall follow her. Hold on a second. I know there's a... Type 14 film here, so there you go. Okay. So we're gonna pursue her wherever she's going. She's a very, very crafty ghost. Oh man, we just missed it. Okay. It's a very tough shot, actually. So we got that one. Oh. Just some ghost blocking our way again. So we gotta find that uh, clue right there. Wherever it's leading us. And it shows red on our sensor, which means there's gonna be a really nasty ghost somewhere. Alarm. Okay. Indicates the fatal frame. When being attacked by a ghost, the top part of the viewfinder may flash red. And an alarm will ring. Okay, we got that. Doors locked. Four point wheel design. Voices behind the wall. Okay. Got some reading stuff again. On the viewfinder. Alright, so he was the one blocking our door. Seal is out. Let's go. Ah, there you are. That's her first ghost right there. A violent ghost she is. What? Oh. Out of my way, damn ghost. How dare you strangle me. She's somewhere. Ah. Stay away from me. Ghost.
What? She, she actually has some kind of weird move there. What? Stop escaping damage! Oh. So there's a follow up fatal frame. Okay. I'm still getting used to this. I'm still getting used to this. Where are you at? Ghost! Okay. Okay, force seems to be out. Shall proceed. Okay. Didn't do anything wrong. Talking about. What are these tattoos? Oh no. Oh, it's too late. I can't escape. Please help me. All that. There is no reply. He's definitely insane. Burnt passport. Akigawa Yoshi. Okay. Woman in the photo. Let's get out of here. You should wake up. Please help me. This woman is actually um, in the real up. world I'm dreaming somewhere in a hospital bed. Wrong. As far as I remember. Yep, that two spreading real fast. Bruise appears. And, uh, yeah. So, I think there's gonna be a lot of reading material from here on. And I think I'm gonna call it a night. We're gonna leave this, uh, for next episode. That's gonna be chapter one or chapter two, because we did a prologue earlier. So I think it's going to be chapter 2 from here on. I'm going to see you on the next episode. Yeah.